today we are going to present on how to deliver a baby. Um, I have two female students with me, Miriam Zabi and Rukaya from the paramedic faculty and they will be assisting me in delivering this baby safely. Um, we have been called to a villa in Abu Dhabi region Albertine and the female is complaining of severe abdominal pains and on arrival we found the female lying on the bed in the bedroom and um, she is pregnant in a full semester and um, the baby's head is crowning. So we have to deliver the baby. Um, we're not able to move the mommy and baby by this stage. We have to deliver. Post delivery, we will transport mother and baby to hospital. I need you to assist me, Rukaya and Al Zabi. Um, mommy, I'm paramedic Sinet. This is Rukaya and Marum Zabi from um, Abu Dhabi Ambulance Service, and we are here to assist you. I want you to relax with the next contraction. We will guide you and assist you on how to push and help to deliver the baby safely. But before we can do that, Mommy, we first have to clean the area before the baby is about to come out. So, vulva on the one side, dispose. Second one, wipe clean. Why do we want to do that? Just to prevent any bacteria from the rectum and the perineum region to actually reach the baby's airways. Okay, very important. Okay, Mommy, if you're ready, you can remove this. We have cleaned, disinfected, discarded. You ready, mommy? We need you to push. Okay, Rukaya, I want you to support me. We have to support the perineum area to prevent the mommy from tearing at the bottom. Okay. If the baby's head is too large, to get out, mm -hmm. and we have complications. We have to um, insert our fingers into the vaginal opening to protect the airway and keep it away from getting pressurized. So, mommy, push, push, push. Very good. As hard as you can. Push, push, push. You're doing very well. Push, mommy. Very good. You're doing very well. Okay, baby's head is out. Ruka, I need you to suction the airway and the nostril area, left and right. Mommy, I want you to bend. With your next contraction, I require you to actually push again, but I will advise you accordingly. We're going to support the baby's head on both sides. Mommy, I need you to be on standby with the cord clamps and the surgical blade, please. Okay, mommy ready for the next push? One big push, 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 push down. Okay, we need to push down for the head. Try slowly. Mommy, push, push, push. Okay, baby is out. Go relax, mommy, pant. Okay, I need you to clamp the cord for me. And I want you to cut it as well. Okay, mommy, with the next contraction, again, to relieve the placenta that's still behind. Cut the cord, controlled the bleeding, mm -hmm. cover the baby with a blanket. Okay, we have to deliver the placenta. Push, mommy, push, push, push. Very good. You can relax. Okay, Miriam, please come this side. Oh, careful for the placenta. I need you. Yes, baby can latch on mommy's breast. That will also help to constrict the uterus and control bleeding. Uterine rub to control the bleeding. Mommy is bleeding, and we can provide mother with a sanitary pad. We have to inspect the placenta, Rakaya. Why do we want to inspect the placenta? Any parts that left or stayed behind. Very good. What will happen if any parts stayed behind from the placenta? Bleeding will occur, and we will not be able to control the bleeding, and the patient will develop shock. So we will inspect the outer aspect where the cord is being attached, it looks complete to me, and the opposite side as well. Make sure that the whole placenta is complete. Okay. Complete, so we will wrap this into um, a sanitary liner and the mother and baby will be transported with the placenta to Cornish Hospital for further management. Mommy, congratulations on your baby girl. She looks very healthy and she's latching to the mommy's breast. 